the racing stars. One of the greatest of all sires is Sir Galahad III. He's the daddy of Gallant Fox and the granddaddy of Omaha. Crusader, the leading money winner in 1926. Man of War, the Magnificent. His 20 victories in 21 starts is a brilliant page in racing history. But it takes many months of expert training, patience, and care to develop a racehorse. With the following of a colt, great hopes and fears are born. The most lowly colt may become a king, and one with the bluest blood may, in spite of every care, become a dun. This little guy looks promising. The happy owner, grateful, and with rosy dreams for little guy's future. The proud mama looks him over. Hey, go easy, Ma. That's better. Come on, babe, your mammy wants to give you a kiss. There. Eh? Ha, huh, how's that for mother love? With a smart boss and a fine mother, little guy's chances are good. Here's a coat not so fortunate. His ma is blind and can't run around with him. He wears a bell so she can find him. But then he has lots of fun biting Mammy's neck. Getting back to little guy, he's now turned loose to play around. Running free with the pack, the bull follows closely on the heels of its mare. A proud smile as he watches his sturdy, healthy coat. With Ma setting the pace, his muscles develop, his wobbly legs grow strong. Then one day, something happens to our coat. Fear grips the hearts of little guy's family. Pneumonia threatens the life of their baby. For many long hours, expert effort aids the colt in its fight. No human is ever given more tender care. An anxious mother at the side of her stricken child. A month later, the sun's back in the sky. The kid himself, well again, yowza. He's left old man pneumonia at the post, and he's a raring to go. And so, little guy goes back into circulation. Hey, look at him beat his mom. Nice stepping, big shot. But when lunchtime arrives, he's still just a baby. It'll be a few more months before he goes off the milk diet. Mmm, good. How am I doing, folks? For the next year and a half, little guy enjoys a life of freedom, with nothing to do but keep healthy and grow up. And now, at the age of 20 months, he starts his lessons. To get him used to a saddle, we start with a claw. Steady, partner. Look out, mister. And this goes on for a month. Until he finally lets him put the cloth on his back like this. He's used to it now. My error. Next, two pound weights are placed in a cloth. The number of weights are gradually increased until the horse will carry 16 pounds. This goes on daily for a couple of weeks, and even then, little guy isn't exactly a kitten. Hold our January. Come on, boys, don't be afraid. He won't kick. Much. There. He's getting used to the feel of weight on his back now. And in a couple more weeks, he's finally saddle broken and ready to ride. Well, maybe not quite ready to ride. No, not quite. And now a new diet to keep little guy fit for the strenuous track work ahead. Oats. Omelie. Ground vegetables. And mineral. What? No spinach. To 
become familiar with the tracks, little guy has just walked around for a period of 10 days. Then he's allowed to trot, and when he's jockey and track-wise, he's put through a daily gallop for a couple of weeks. Next, he's introduced to the starting gate. It's all new and strange to little guy, and he's a bit nervous. He finally goes in. It takes a few weeks just to school him, to stand correctly at the gate. And six weeks more to teach him to break at the sound of the bell. Okay, little guy, let's see you break. Here goes the bell. Hey, what's this? He went the wrong way. Watch closely, babe. You'll have to go through this yourself someday. Let's try again, in slow motion. Little guy on the left. Oh, wait for the bell, you silly. And look at the horse at the right. He's going in for aviation. Wow, what a leap. Ride him back ghetto. That's the old stuff. All right, at the sound of the bell this time. Hold it. Now. There we go. Little guy in the foreground. He's got the idea now and gets away to a smooth, fast start. And that's important. Many races won or lost at the starting post. And now, after weeks of clocking little guy's speed, let's see what he can do. The boss will start the stopwatch when the flag drops. All set, let's go. He's off, and he's away to a good start. Boy, if he can keep up that pace, he'll soon be in the money. How about it, gang? Oh, they the real. It looks like long and patient training hasn't been wasted on this quadruped. He's learned to hook the rail on the turn like a veteran and finish his pass. Let's see his turn. Three furlongs in 36 seconds. Swell, little guy's ready to graduate. But before our horse leaves the farm, let's see how he finishes in a competitive race. Coming up to the finish, little guy's second. He takes his spurt. He's out in front. He passes the third furlong mark. A winner. And now little guy's school days are over. As his pals gallop down to see him off, he proudly rides out into a world of sport. While over here, hurrying to get a last glimpse of her pride and joy, is old Mammy herself. So long, little guy, more speed to you. And like these old timers, may you return victorious to carry on the fame of your strain.